Hello guys, welcome back. So guys, in this session, we are going to discuss about a tool through which you can create an undetectable backdoor for your Windows or for the Linux operating system. So as you can see now, I am running my Kali Linux operating system in VMware Workstation and my host operating system is Windows 10 and I am running the Windows 10 latest version. So today I will completely show you how we can create an completely undetectable backdoor which can bypass the antivirus easily. So but before starting, here is the disclaimer. This video is just for the informational and educational purposes only. Hacking without permission is illegal. Cyber awareness is only the key to securing yourself against the real hackers so let's get started so first of all go ahead and open up your browser so now as you can see here we have uh, the tool villain through which we are going to create our uh, undetectable backdoor for the Windows 10 operating system so now as you can see uh, here we have some uh, preview of this tool and the installation process is also available in the description box and now we are going to simply click on the code and copy this URL and we are going to clone this tool in our repositories I mean in our Kali Linux operating system so simply uh, head back to your terminal and right here cd desktop to navigate to your desktop directory and here we are going to use the command git clone to clone your uh, villain tool on your desktop directory so as you can see now our villain tool has been uh, cloned on our desktop so simply navigate into your uh, desktop I mean villain directory so type here cd villain and type ls so now as you can see here we have some files of this villain tool now we have to run this uh, requirements.txt file to install all the libraries so use the command pip3 install hyphen r requirements.txt to install all the requirements so as you can see all the requirements are already satisfied now we are going to give the permission to the villain.py file to execute it so use chmod plus x command to give the permission and we are going to run it with python 3 villain.py and press enter so it was as you can see you have successfully installed and run the villain tool now we, as you can see the listener is already uh, set on this uh, villain tool now if you don't know how to use this villain tool so you can simply type here help to open this uh, help tab and you can check out all the options that are available uh, on this tool so as you can see uh, here we have first connect connect with sibling server generate generate backdoor payload so we are going to use the generate command to generate our payload and here we have the shell command to access our victims terminal and after that here we have aliases reset kill id clear and exit uh, it will kill all the sessions and quit the villain tool and if you want to know that how to use this command so you can also use uh, help and after that uh, the command name generate so it will uh, open all the help of this uh, command so now as you can see for windows it is asking us to generate uh, and it is uh, asking us to specify our os which is windows and the ip address or interface and after that it is obfuscate encoding method it is also available in this uh, process and it is also uh, showing us the uh, payload for linux so now we are going to create for the windows so i am going to use here generate and after that i am going to specify my uh, operating system which is windows and after that i am going to specify my l host which is uh, ethernet 0 or you can type here your ip address as well i am typing the interface of my system so now after that you are going to specify your obfuscate over here or you uh, can leave it as default so i am going to type here obfuscate and here our payload is ready and now if i press enter so as you can see our payload is created and it is ready for the attack so now uh, let me show you my windows operating system and as you can see let me show you first my security system is working or not my windows security is uh, on or not so let me show you security windows security and press enter so was, as you can see virus and threat protection is on and uh, if i press on manage and as you can see all the uh, protections are on cloud delivery is on automatic sample submission is on temper protection now we are going to uh, run here our powershell of our windows operating system so run here and i'm not uh, running it as an administrator i'm simply running it so uh, now we are going to paste our payload over here 
so if i paste the payload and uh, as you can see on the right side here we have uh, the attacking machine and on the left side here we have our victims machine so uh, as far as i press enter so as you can see on the right here backdoor session established on this ip address so if i close this terminal and if i uh, head back to attacking machine and let me show you that uh, our backdoor is still open our session is still established so we will write here sessions and after that press enter so as you can see we have an active session with this machine and uh, the host is windows and the user is owned by me because uh, as we have said i am going to share backdoor sessions with other resources of this tool so let's see the command execution i will write here uh, shell and after the uh, shell command i will write here the id of my uh, victim's machine so i will write here the id and press enter so as you can see i have got uh, the reverse shell in my attacking machine and now what i can do i can uh, check out all the resources of the victim's machine as you can see i have uh, type ls to uh, see the directories that are available on the victim's machine and i can uh, write here the, the present working directory to check out what is the present present working directory of the victim and after that i can also find out the system information of the user using the system info uh, command and it will open up all the information of the user and as you can see here we have all the information about the user's network card and hotfix and all the information that is available and uh, i'm going to uh, control c to exit here so now let's use the correct command of this tool uh, but before uh, that let me uh, generate another backdoor this time i'm going to do uh, this for the uh, linux so simply clear up the screen and we are going to generate our payload for the linux so os is equals to linux and our uh, lhost will be equals to ethernet 0 and press enter so it will generate the payload for the linux operating system and i'm going to poison my own linux machine so simply copy this and after that i'm going to uh, open up a new tab so i'm going to paste it over here and press enter and if i turn back to my previous uh, terminal and as you can see backdoor session established on this ip address so we have successfully uh, uh, established two active sessions so if i write here sessions and now as you can see i have two active sessions number one is the windows and the number two is for the linux operating system so now let me uh, use the connect command so first of all we'll write here connect and we are giving help and we are going to use the connect so we, first of all we will check out the uh, help of connect how to use that command so as you can see i know how to use it but uh, for the beginners it is not easy to use this command so you're going to type your help connect to uh, open the help of this uh, connect command so uh, as we can see here we have the connect command after that your ip address uh, the victim's ip address and after that the core server port so as you can see i have an other kali linux uh, running in the background so let me show you that first so it was as you can see this is the the second virtual machine that i'm running in uh, the virtual uh, machine and uh, vmware workstation so now let's connect this uh, virtual machine with my uh, attacking virtual machine so uh, we are going to use the connect command so connect and and after that i'm going to use the ip address of my attacking machine so we are going to use the ip address in your case it will be different and after that we are going to specify the port so here we have the port 6501 and press enter so as you can see sending request to connect uh, to this victim device so if it doesn't connect so first of all go ahead and open up your terminal once again and you have to check your uh, ip address so if uh, as you can see i have uh, the different ip address so we are going to uh, open up our second virtual machine and here I'm going to uh, change my IP address so here I'm going to change it uh, from 3 to 5 and press enter so as you can see uh, sending request to connect and if I return back to my uh, attacking terminal as you can see received request to connect from this uh, 
server and as you can see type 61219 and press enter to connect you have 10 seconds if you will not write this in 10 seconds it will uh, deny the request so we are going to uh, once again send a request from this machine and press enter and after that we are going to write here 253290 press enter so as you can see synchronized server synchronized and synchronizing is done and as you can see here we have the sending request to connect connecting established and synchronizing server 2x additional shell uh, session established and synchronized so if i write here uh, siblings and press enter so as you can see now i have one uh, active sibling with this attacking machine and if i type here uh, siblings and as you can see here we have an uh, active uh, sibling with fk host name and in this case we have a host name as fk also so we have the same host names uh, it doesn't matter your host name is different or same so now uh, let me show you we have established two sessions over here in this attacking machine and if i open session over here so i will use sessions and as you can see here i have also two active sessions available in this machine or as well so this is how we can connect with the with this uh, attacking machine using the villain tool and uh, we can how, how we can create siblings and as you can see i have just uh, created payload in this attacking machine and i have just uh, connected this attacking machine with my ad another attacking machine and i can access these machines using this second attacking machine so viewers in our today's session we have seen how we can create an malicious payload an undetectable payload for our linux or for the windows operating system and on second we have uh, seen how to connect from one machine to the another machine and how we can host different machines at a time so that's it for our today's session and i hope you have learned something valuable from our today's session so if you have learned something valuable from our today's session so like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all my new videos so let's meet in the next session until then take care goodbye